Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to light a nighttime car scene. In case you're wondering, the gear kit I used for this shot was the Red Komodo 6K with the Sigma 50mm 1.4. I used the small HD ND7 as my monitor as well as another ND7 as my wireless monitor so that I could preview the image while setting up the shot myself. Alright, so to start lighting our scene, I drove the car into a position that would make sense for the shot. The key factor was positioning the car so that the house was in the background so that the outdoor lights could be used to create some depth rather than the background just being pure black. The next step was to dial in the exposure to the house lights since they're the one variable that we can't control. Once those were dialed in, I set up my Aperture 600D as our key light. I positioned it at a 45 degree angle on the far side of the driver's seat. This light is motivated by the house lights, but we want it to wrap around the face and be much softer than what our background lights could provide. To provide that softness, I set up an 8x8 unbleached muslin. This also helped add some warmth uh, to better match the warm tones that the house lights had since the 600D only has a color output of 5600 Kelvin. This light did most of the heavy lifting for us in terms of exposure and shape, but there are a few more lights that I added to the image just to make it pop and feel a little bit more believable. First, I added a 300X with a softbox behind the car to add a subtle kick light, uh, both to the seat and to my face. This helped add a little bit more contrast between my skin and the seat as well. I also set this light to 6500 Kelvin, to add some subtle color contrast between the kick light and the key light. Adding that subtle blue was motivated by what it could look like if some moonlight was spilling in from the back of the car. The last light I added was a tube light inside the car. I added it down below my face to emulate the fill that dashboard lights would add in real life. I ended up facing the light away from me because even at 1% the light was just too bright and this also helped soften the light a little bit as well. I also changed this light to 6500 Kelvin to emulate the bluish color uh, that a lot of dashboards would have and it also helped create a little bit more color contrast as well um, in some of the shadows in the car. The final touch I added was a wet down to the windows. Uh, this was just to help add a little bit of interest when you do a wet down, it tends to have a little bit of um, contrast. Those highlights kind of show up and, and just overall make the frame a bit more interesting. So to recap, we started by dialing in our background. Next, we added the key light. Then we added a kick light. We used a tube light to add a bit of ambient light to the interior. And finally, we did a wet down. So here's what the final shot looked like with all of these elements put together. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and you learned something from it. If you did, go ahead, give the video a like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this.